Hello everyone. In this video, I will talk about inbuilt functions in MATLAB. In this video, we will see some examples of vector functions. Here, one percentage sign is used for commenting the lines, and two percentage signs have a different purpose. They are used for dividing your code into the sections. which can be run independently now we will see some examples of these vector functions now let us consider any row vector x which is equal to square bracket 1 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 comma 2 comma 3 square bracket close semicolon and then enter this semicolon indicates the end of statement however if you want to suppress and hide the matlab output for an expression then we can add a semicolon after the expression now if we use the first vector function max which give you the largest component of your row vector now if we run this program so we can see here max of this row vector give you the 6 that means it is giving us largest component of this row vector which is 6 now again i am putting semicolon that means this matlab hide our output now we will look for another vector function which is min which give you the smallest component now min of x gives you the value 1 that means the smallest component in this row vector is 1 semicolon enter length of row vector run so it is 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 so th the length of this row vector is is 6 so if we want to check the length then we will use this function sort of x sort give you the your row vector in ascending order so now we get the our row vector in ascending order next one is product of your elements prot means product of elements it's 720 now if i write clc then command window history command window will clear if we want to calculate the median value then we use median if we need mean value then we will use mean and finally if we want to see the standard deviation then we will use std so if i want to see the std of this row vector that means standard deviation then it will give you the 1.8708 value in work space we can see it is 1 by 6 matrix that means one row and six column and the last answer is correspond to this command 
Thank you.